baby. Hey, we're back. It's a special day because I'm with my boy, Tall Guy. Appreciate it, man. You know, this is like a superstar, hardest working He's man on YouTube. So we're doing a car review today. We're driving up up in Malibu, up Pacific Coast Highway. And we're just gonna, you know, create some content on cars, man. We're gonna be showing the SVJ. So this is his- Ultimate dream car. Ultimate dream ultimate. car, this is his car. I need so, the roaster though, cause I'm 6'10", so, <laughs> but I'm, I'm in there, but I'm gonna make it work. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make it work. That's what he's driving. I'm driving the Pista. And the chase car is gonna be the yours. So that's what we're doing to create content. Can I ask you, bro, how good is life if your chase car is a Lamborghini Urus? <laughs> <laughs> you know, most people got like a little ran down minivan that look like that white truck. You got two dudes in the back. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got a Lamborghini Urus as a chase car. That's top level. You know what I'm saying? So, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, hey, stay with us, man. We're going to have a lot of fun. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Let me tell you why I bought the piece. Please. You know, because like how much say, is the piece? I don't know, man. I mean, come on, man. Roughly, give or take. Come on, man. You know, it costs a lot. A lot of money? It costs a lot. Okay, you know, well, there you go. The Google the MSRP. The MSRP is going to not include carbon fiber wheels, which is right? $50,000 option. You make the car light. His rims cost about as much as a regular Hellcat. <laughs> That's crazy. I'll tell you right now what my favorite thing about the piece is. One, Ferraris in general, they always got a lot of room for bigger, taller people. They're comfortable, they're luxurious, they're fine. But the piece that, to me, uh, my, my favorite thing is those rims. One, two, the scoop. The arrow. I like the arrow. Yeah. That's a good touch. And the third thing I just found out right before uh, we started filming this video was TJ popped this back lid over here to where literally you can see the whole engine bay or yeah. the whole joint it's all carbon fiber and, and the thing about the piece that's a limited edition car right meaning right. that you know there's not but so many of them that they made it's not like the 48 that so the 48 why is they call it 48 huh? well it's a 48 it's based on 48 but it's just like the huracan like you got the huracan you, you got, got the performante. performante okay this is like the performante for the the uh the, the track version Oh, right. it's the track version. So it's the track for version the 48. Exactly. Okay, so it's the top of the move. Wow, it's that's crazy. And so, so what I like about cars like this is I always like buying sort of the last version of the car because they've perfected the car. And they're coming out with their best car. I like going to the track, and this is the track version. So this car is lighter. The car has more power, more horsepower. It has better aerodynamics, which is what we were talking about up here. And even back here, it's a little bit more aero. Carbon so, fiber yep, everywhere, too. Yep, yep. I like the carbon fiber diffuser. I like the carbon fiber here, here, and there. It's literally all around the car, size hurts, rims. It's just everywhere, and the interior is crazy too. So, like, I like that. But what would you say was your number one reason? Like, if you could put it down to one reason why you bought the piece in. Performance, right? Like, it's a driver's car. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a, it's a, it's a weapon, it's a tool. It's also limited edition. So, I also like buying cars that if I buy the car, I hang on to the car. It's really not going to cost me a lot because the car is going to go up in value. So I kind of talked about that with the Viper, and that's the same thing. I buy this car, you know. Uh, now, if you're trying to buy a car and drive it every day and that kind of thing, I have a lot of cars so I can rotate through my car, right? And I actually don't drive a lot unless I'm driving for fun. So I drive though, but I drive for fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't drive to commute. Right. I don't drive as like a utility. You know, I take Uber for that. Right. You know. But if I need to, uh, I don't know if you're taking Uber right now though. Coronavirus! Right now. Ain't nobody taking Uber right now, right? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to chime in on, Tom? Yeah, that's it, man. I mean, you know, it's 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 an awesome car. And, you know, the funny thing is, it's not breaking the records. It doesn't have records in this at the Nuremberg Ring and that kind of thing, because I like cars that, that, uh, that perform well at the Nuremberg Ring and stuff like that. And it doesn't have those kind of records, but the car is amazing to drive. And so people ask me all the time, what's my favorite car? And I'm reluctant to answer that question, but I know I'm in an amazing machine from a performance standpoint and this car doing whatever I want it to do right. as well. But it's not like as, as playful in terms, of, uh, in terms of mindset, right? It's a more serious car. But 
I really like this car. Man, you got, a problem, I, you got a fetish for doors, bro. I do, bro. bro I like to. You got a door fetish. I think that I grew up with just doors just going like this the whole time. So now that I got the opportunity to get my doors to do something, anything extra quickly, <laughs> I want the doors. So you want the doors of this to go up too? I, don't get me started. You know what I'm saying? Because that's one thing I never liked with the Ferrari brand. I keep it all the way up here with you. Is they doors how y'all got y'all Ferrari? Even McLaren has doors. Lamborghini has doors. Aston Martins at least do a little something. Right, right. They do a little, little swoop. A little swoop to uh -huh. check the curb. Ferrari was like, you know, Mercedes SLS doors went up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mercedes still has the ones that got special attributes. Yeah. But this would be a Ferrari and not have that. I don't know. To me, I just man, I can't get it tight. This was this one's gonna hold its value more, and it's a completely different driving experience. I think yeah. this one right here, you're like, you know, you got all, all your all business face on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you and, rich. And and you and rich. you conservative type rich man. <laughs> yep, for sure. <laughs> this is that. This is what old like rich people get. I feel like in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like they Could like you old rich people. You old you rich. Shit. <laughs> Sweat. Is it, he just called me old and rich. Yeah. He did. yeah. I mean, you rich though, but yeah, he called you old though. He, he definitely called you old. You gotta watch out for Corona, brother. You know what I'm saying? You gotta watch out. You gotta watch out. Speaking of all this goddamn Corona. <laughs> I wouldn't say the doors would make it be perfect, but if the doors went up, brother, it'd be pretty damn close. It'd be pretty close? It'd be pretty close, brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's something special with the drip on the dogs. Like, yeah. But. Legendary car though, like I don't like the thing is is like I don't dislike Ferrari. I like Ferrari. I just look at like there's things that Lambert could do better. There's things that Ferrari could do better. There's things that, you know, Toyota, Volkswagen, Acura could do better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I know this, you know what I'm saying? But chasing perfection, like none of us will ever be able to attain it, but I do think we should all try to get as close as possible as we can too. Yeah. Yeah. If we can. Now I'm gonna point out some stuff I really like. The the door panel. I like that a lot. The carbon fiber with the yeah. guitar on the top, yeah. Yeah. like it, and it even went all the way through the bottom. And then they got the net with the with the yellow strip. Yeah, I like that. Now the big bucket ass got their bolstered up seat. I like that too. I like the interior with Ferrari. I think Ferrari has, as far as the sports car world, I think they have one of the best interiors that you can buy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, the carbon fiber is, seat too. Yeah. Oh, don't. See, see, that, see, see that's see, the rich. See, Talk, look, yeah, he yeah. said, don't you miss that carbon fiber? <laughs> so he gets your ass in there and show the carbon fiber, man, because you know he want that carbon fiber, brother. <laughs> That's <laughs> that's rich dog boy. Car fire. You know the thing is, is when I always people always say my car views right long before they be like, man, Slim always goes crazy when he talk about carbon fiber. The reason why is because I've never seen a car that got carbon fiber in it that ain't worth some big money. So it's like when I talk about carbon, I'm talking about carbon fiber, I'm blue in the face because if this is real carbon fiber, do you see this in any normal car? So carbon fiber deserves and needs to be pointed out because anybody who got shit on their car, they got top of the move brain individual. You know what I'm saying? So and like, look at more carbon fiber. See what I'm saying? Like I like all this, man. Like all that count. Even right there. Look at the look at your feet, Sway. Look at the side skirt. Look at the Ferrari. Everything. Carbon fiber on the steering wheel. Carbon fiber on the air vents. Carbon fiber on the gear shifter. You see what I'm saying? Like it's just carbon fiber everywhere. But now. I'm ready to go on a drive now. So you ready to go on a drive, brother? Carbon fiber hood. Carbon fiber hood. It ain't exposed though. Nah, you don't want to expose, bro. I'll take the exposure whenever I get it. But, so the whole underlying of that is carbon fiber. The whole thing. Wow. See, I didn't even know that. Look at that little jibber right there. But these right here by far, if I had to say one thing, and this is an option, he didn't have to do this. The number one option I would say to get if you're gonna get a piece of it is them damn wheels. You are, nobody can be played with. If you got carbon fiber rims on your car, nobody can be played with. Leave him the f alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anybody who has carbon fiber on their rims. Simple as that. Now you ready to go on drive, brother? Yeah, let's do this. Let's get it. Alright, T. You ready, brother? I like the reverse button down there. We got the parking brake on with that. Yeah, this one. Like a manual in these cars, man. Yeah, I forget what they call it, but it is kind of like a manual and drives it away. Oh, that's why you be hitting that horn uh, when yeah, you turn it. Yeah, see, I was like, yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and sometimes you be just the horn goes a couple times while you be turning. Yeah, you be like, what? What you doing? You know, one thing, bro, that I like about the Rories is that's a huge noticeable difference. Space, 
Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a breath of fresh air, brother. So you get the you get the look and then on top of that, you get the visuals, you get the carbon fibers, you get all the extra bits and pieces, but you also get I wouldn't say go as far as saying practicality, but after getting out of that Aventador, compared to just being able to just do this, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like my head is like cool. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because it's been tight. I was type sardine in there. I ain't gonna hold you on the head room. But as far as um, the leg room, I was cool. You know, but I'm never really cool with anything, honestly, with the, with the leg room. Yeah. You know, people always say, I mean, how you fit in there? I think, I think that's probably one of the most annoying things that somebody can ask me. I'm in the, <laughs> mind the sport mode, brother. Oh, no, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm in race. race All right, let's get a little to pull and let's see what we're talking about. You know how when you, you know, not in a straight line, and then you, some people don't know? Yeah. Yeah, some people don't know, right? Like, it, if I, I feel like you should only do that if you know the car, though. You got to know the car. Yeah. And then, like, if that, in this car, if the wheels turned at all, and you do, if you get on the gas, it's going to go. Right. See, like, what I just did right there, that's a car person. The only person that can, like, it's hard to try to explain how to go up a slope if you don't have, like, a, 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 some car that's low. You know what I'm saying? Like that right there. Like imagine if you were had somebody driving your car. Like I was when I have somebody driving my McLaren and I'm in the car and they go up like a slope. I mean, one of the like it's like gun pressure to me. I'm like, I ain't wait. Hold on, wait. Because you don't know if they're gonna just fly up right, 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 right. and then knock the whole exactly. bumper off. Exactly. You know what exactly. I'm saying? And in this case, this car is uh very expensive, so <laughs> it got a lot of carbon fiber on it. So that's literally the worst car you could do it to. Oh, that's the automatic start yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive it, drive it. You know what I mean? All right, yeah. brother, I'm gonna whip it. Yeah, you know. As you always just. I don't know about going around this curve right now until you get a straight line. Oh, I thought you said drive. You know, I'm saying. Said drive. Yeah, yeah, I said drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sitting here looking at this truck. Let's mess with the metal shit. It's so smooth and so buttery, it's type kind of a little scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I do like this car though, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Is, is this a, so this is a little scarier than the uh, Viper? Nah, dude, you know what's crazy? This this is actually, that Viper felt like it was on tracks though, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna lie. I think we gotta try, try change, uh, that's what I'm saying. But this one feels like, I think you gotta get in this seat and let me drive you. Nah, hell no. Nah. You're too crazy, man. Because you're too crazy, man. And I, you know what I mean? I think is, you need to get nah, in this seat. I know you I a driver. I think you need to get in this seat. I know you a driver, man. <laughs> I think and you need I to get in this seat. Let me get over there. You want to go crazy? Yeah, you know, a little bit. All right, come on. Come let's on. do it. It's a little bit. So it doesn't have, like, the same kind of torque that the SVJ has. Right. Or, or the uh, or the bike, but really. I want to see if there's space behind to have some fun. You know what's crazy? Now that I'm over on this side, I'm like, I don't know which one has more room in the thing. Is it, is it Ferrari that has more head that makes it appear bigger in the car? Or is it the actual leg space? Because there is like no leg space. Uh, yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I'm glad that I was there. <laughs> Jazz game. <laughs> I was about to be like, oh. Yeah, I'm already knowing. <laughs> right, I'm just speaking about that carbon fiber and that, you know, that, the uphills I was just yeah, talking about yeah. that. That's funny. Does this have a front lip on this car? Yeah, it does, right here. Uh, I was wondering too. I went over that speed bump with no front lip without, yeah. without uh, scraping too, though. Yeah, yeah, you went slow. That's what, that's what really what the most important thing is. Yeah, you think about slow. sometimes, though, man. That's, like, I've tried it. But, man, like, sometimes. Forever to go up at the yeah. wrong time. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Or are you worried about somebody hitting you behind you? You know what I'm saying? Like I just have to worry about my McLaren. Anytime the corner, quiet. Yeah, you got to go. You got to go. I ain't gonna lie, you 
going to love that one though. Because I definitely didn't get that kind of feeling. special car bro like anytime someone's the track version of any car yeah you know what i'm saying like it's to be respected you know what i mean like for peace to that this is really nice bro thanks brother I, li I like this car it's a fun car and then like right here does this roll down the back glass nah no i like it though it is a big one big glass too like you know how levels are just, you know, like, yeah. small Get a supercar, be very, very careful. Right, you know, learn how to drive. You know what I mean? Because like, or more importantly, 
look out for the people that don't know how to drive. Hey, we're spinning. It just took Tog out. We couldn't find a real safe place to have as much fun as I wanted to have, but I wanted to let them know that the pizza guys, you know, the, what the pizza can do. He's even no fun. Yeah, yeah. Cause he was playing with it. He was like baby. So, yeah. But the thing was, though, I had enough time in the, in the SBJ when yeah. he let me drive the SBJ. Yeah. This yeah. one I'm not, I wasn't too sure about, yeah. so I didn't want to have a fill out moment. Yeah, so. well the pizza gets a little wild. So, Piece of the wild child, you know, it looks calm, looks all sophisticated, but she gets wild. So I had to take them out. So sometimes was the best ones, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, keep it here with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would shake your hand, but Corona. <laughs> Corona <laughs> All right. Hey, look, man, we are always doing content on lifestyle, cars, and money. Keep watching like subscribe comment below let me know what you want us to talk about what we want to show you thank you tall guy for hanging out everybody knows where to find tall guy but tell them anyway tall guy car reviews on youtube tall guy car reviews on instagram tall guy car reviews on facebook and how about with your girl my, how about with your girl jasmine love jasmine. on instagram jasmine love on facebook and our channel together is love is slim subscribe appreciate that yeah brother. that's that's awesome stuff hey see you guys soon man